Graham Alexander, the uh, retained list uh, details being announced today. Obviously, a number of players released, 12 in all. Always a tricky time for a manager and your first experience of it from this side. It's been a difficult few days. Yeah, you know, it's, it's something that you know I um, took lightly because it's you know you're talking about players' careers and and players that have done great jobs for this club. So it's um, you know it's um, yeah it's not a day that I've looked forward to to be honest. But um, you know I've, I've I've done it with the best of intentions and, and the best of intentions of, of making a fleet with a, a more competitive team at this level. Um, and that's n it's not to the detriment of what the lads have done for, for this club in the past, because you know, you know some of the lads have, have uh, been part of the, the, the team that got into the into the football league. So you know it, it was one of those. But you know I spoke to them openly and honestly this morning. You know I spoke, spoke to them you know, one on one in, in, in a meeting, and um, you know it, it's a hard one because you know they to be fair they all handled it like. like Great professionals, and 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 they and I wish them the best. They wish me the best, and, and the club because you know obviously the club has has got a, a big place in their hearts because you know they've enjoyed good times here. But um, you know it, it's the nature of football that you know things move on. You know no one, no ever, no one ever stands still in football, and it's you know for for us to to create a new new team, a new squad, and and reduce the numbers. You know unfortunately we've had to make some tough decisions. Yes, uh, you alluded there to your squad size. Obviously, you want a smaller squad for next season, and obviously, a number of players still under contract. So, these were very important factors in your deliberations over the last few days and weeks. Yeah, of course. You know, you, you have to you have to take it into account the lads who are out of contract, the lads who are still under contract, who are who are part of the future of the club. Then you have to get the blend right of the players that you're going to add to the the ones that will still be here. So, it's not just a case of picking a player and, and dropping them into your squad. It's it's a case of can he play with this player? Who will play next to him? Can, you know, can he bring this certain quality to the to the team and squad to be competitive at a, a level two? Uh, you know, um, league two, which will be another physical, difficult league to to get out of. So, you know, we have to we have to plan accordingly, and um, you know, hopefully the the decisions we make now will, will bear fruit in in the future. Yes, and a chance to move on into that future to start really developing and shaping a squad of your own. Yeah, you know, it, it's important. I think you know, if uh, if you're a manager, that you can you can get a team that you know is your identity, really. You know, because I think a team mirrors mirrors the manager. You know, it's, it has been difficult for me, you know, because you know uh, I came in just, just before January, and there was you know an awful lot of players at the club, and you know it would have been hard to turn that round, you know, in the space of a month in January. So. You know, was, and, and a plus, I wanted to give the lads who were already here the chance to be part of the future. You know, and without giving them game time, you can't do that. So, you know, we, we wait till the, the end of the, the season to, to make the changes that we thought were necessary. Um, but like you say, it's it's about identifying the right players now to come in and and add quality to the group. And um, you know, that that work is is already underway. Yes, I imagine you've been uh, working on that for a few weeks now. Um, Without being too specific, um, priority areas you've obviously clearly identified in your own mind and we can certainly read in a little way to the people who've been released as to where they may be, but I would imagine you're looking all across the pitch, uh, all different positions, uh, anything's possible. Yeah, well, I think the thing is football is obviously there, there is certain areas now where we're extremely right, so obviously they're priority issues for us, but I don't think you ever stop looking for someone or something better, you know, so even once we get that squad in place, it's the nature of football, you know. Um, that's why clubs have scouts and and, and, and go and managers go to watch games because you you're always looking to improve and uh, on yourself and, and on your team. So that work will never stop. But obviously, we ha we do have certain priority positions now because of the the thinness of the the um, the players that we've got in those positions. But uh, so you know, we, and we did identify this, you know. Um, uh, a few weeks ago, and, and we have started the work that, that's necessary to do that. So, um, you know, I know it's a it's a sad day for you know supporters seeing some you know favourites of, of Fleetwood leave, um, but hopefully we can replace them with with players that will excite the fans and uh, and take this club to the to the next level. And that, you know that that's the the nature of the beast, so to speak. Which will necessitate a very busy few weeks for you and your, your management staff. Yeah, well, you know, to be honest, the the, the work hasn't stopped. You know the it was obviously the last game, you know, ten, 10 days ago. But 
we've just been bang at it since, since then, and uh, you know it's, it's not stopped. And, and to be honest, it's, it's not a chore or anything because it's the work that we want to do. So it's um, you know it's and, it, and without the you know the the focus being lost on on games, we can you know fully concentrate on the players that we need to bring in now and and give it our full attention. You know and. Um, and you know, there's a lot of big decisions to be made, and but there's, we know that we can attract good players to this club because we're an attractive option. We feel in in League Two, uh, we've got to get the, the right ones that have got the right mentality and, and purpose in, in their career to to come and join the the project that we got here, and that's to to take this club forward. And we need players that will come in and, and want to take their careers forward as well. And it's a, it's a big thing in football that you know people that have got a point to prove. I always, believe that they're the ones that are most driven and uh, I've certainly got a point to prove, I know the club have got a point to prove and that's why we need players in that uh, have got the same uh, same ideas. Next season's uh, fixture listed out in just over a month, um, some different names inevitably, some big clubs, Portsmouth will be around and uh, not least uh, Scunthorpe where, where you started your own career. Yeah that's right yeah, um, where 1988 I, I started there so they, they gave me a chance when I was 16 and Unfortunately, they got relegated, and uh, you know, and uh, and there's one of my old managers, Brian Laws, who was my manager at Burnley, um, is obviously the, in charge there as well. So, you know, that there's going to be loads of fixtures for, for for ourselves and for the supports to, to look forward to, and and a couple of new ones, I suppose, that they haven't played at, like you say, like Portsmouth and Scunthorpe, and um, you know, we just. Uh, for me, I, even though I haven't had a break, I, I can't wait for pre-season to get started now because you know there will just be, I think there'll be a freshness to it all. You know, the the numbers will be more manageable. I think there'll be uh, new lads coming in, you know, looking to prove themselves at a new club, and um, and we can't sit, you know, can't wait to hit the ground running. So um, it's one of those of um, just counting off the days and and ready to get down to the the hard work that it will take to be successful. You know the. We will speak to the players about what what we require over the summer, you know, because it, it doesn't stop really. They'll have a rest period, but then the work will start again. But that's under their own stewardship, so we, we trust them to do that. And then, um, obviously, when they come back after the summer, we'll we'll get right down to it. Brilliant. Thanks very much. And I hope at some point you get a break yourself. Yeah, yeah I'm sure I'll get a few days off with with the wife, and uh, I look forward to it. But um, yeah, it's, uh, hopefully, everyone will do the same and, and come back refreshed and, and ready to go. Thanks for speaking to us, Graham. Okay.